Item SCP-054 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures Subject is held in a watertight isolation room outfitted with specialised climate control equipment. An ornate fountain filled with water stands in the centre of the enclosure. Maintenance personnel are required to wear NBC suits while inside the containment area and must spend 10 minutes in a special drying room after exiting. In the event of a breach, the surrounding area should be evacuated and the enclosure flushed with liquid nitrogen. Fountain's chemical level and volumes are to be monitored and maintained. Spring water from should be used as SCP-054 is highly sensitive to hydrological conditions. SCP-054 has developed a mistrust for human males during its confinement, thus assignment of female personnel is recommended. Description Out of the water, the subject most often appears as a female humanoid with a mean volume of 90 litres comprised entirely of water. Other forms are possible, commonly geometric shapes. When it enters a body of water, it becomes indistinguishable from its surroundings. The subject must periodically return to a body of water in order to maintain its volume due to evaporation. Initially found in it was moved to Site-08 for further study. Subject was initially curious about Foundation personnel and seemed to enjoy interacting with maintenance staff and researchers and mimicking their forms. After a number of weeks, the creature apparently felt comfortable enough to remain out of the water during routine monitoring, though it retreated when attempts were made to study its composition. SCP-054 is apparently composed of normal water, with no detectable differences compared to ordinary spring water from the same source. No thermal, electromagnetic, biological or other phenomenon has ever been detected in its body and would suggest how it animates. Water lost by SCP-054 to evaporation exhibits no special properties when condensed. Experiments with SCP-054 were halted following two researchers were injured. After this incident, containment protocols were updated. Subject thereafter exhibited signs of mistrust and aggression around male personnel, which made up the majority of the original research staff. Subject reclassified as Euclid. Partial Transcripts, Audio Journal 054-A Water Loss Experiment Subject becomes withdrawn and inactive when denied access to water. Its compact shape is theorised to reduce service area exposed to evaporation. For the first few days it moved eagerly to greet anyone entering its enclosure and behaved excitably. Possibly indicates an understanding by the subject that we control its access to water supplies. Subject ceased this behaviour yesterday, presumably in recognition that no help was forthcoming. Temperature extremes testing. We got authorization to attempt sub-zero testing this morning. The subject became lethargic as the temperature fell and froze completely after <laughs> spectropathy of the ice crystals revealed no abnormalities. Ice chips were collected for study. This is in a stark contrast to its behaviour in the 95 degree tests, where it became aggressive and attempted to escape its enclosure. We've submitted a work order to combine the climate control equipment with the subject's standard enclosure, as it has begun to resist efforts to transport it to experimental chambers with increasingly desperate behaviour. Memory and Conditioning Evaluation Subject has proven unexpectedly adept at navigating complex mazes and solving puzzles. Dr. C. Skill has finally overcome the problem of motivating the subject by the application of electrical shocks and or silica desiccants. He joked that we could have it trained to fetch in no time, and after observing his methods, I think he might be right. Note, subject to be allowed a 48 hour recuperation period. It seemed to be lagging in its progress at the end of the week's experiments. Acid slash base incorporation experiment. Last log entry. I am starting with a 0.5 mHCl solution. I have no idea what will happen, but if this thing incorporates homeostatic mechanisms like I suspect, then we should set, get some insight into how it maintains its form. The temperature in the enclosure has been lowered to 278K to help control 54's increased erratic behaviour. Addendum 054-B 
After five years with no incidents, subject rating has been downgraded to safe on recommendation of Dr. Experiments will resume under the auspices of Biology Unit E7. Cautions should still be exercised when interacting with the subject.